Hi, everyone. First up at 6 o'clock, some breaking news. The House has voted in favor of extending Governor Lamont's emergency powers into 2022. As a matter of fact, the vote happened within the past hour or so, and it passed 80 to 60 with 11 members not voting. Channel 3's chief political reporter Susan Rath is live right now at the Capitol in Hartford, where hundreds of protesters were also on hand today. Susan, what's the latest? That's right, Mark. In fact, Capitol Police believe close to 200 people came here to the Capitol today. These are people who are frustrated with mandates and they want the governor's emergency powers to end. There was a smaller group of protesters here, however, today asking for lawmakers to do and take action on something else. And that is crime. Groups supporting medical freedom and parental rights are telling lawmakers to say no to Governor Lamont. If you get in your car in Maine and you drive all the way to Florida right now, you just have Rhode Island, Connecticut, and North Carolina under emergency orders. While Connecticut's vaccination rate is among the highest in the country, Lamont and many Democrats say the pandemic isn't over, and they want mandates on vaccines, masks, and testing to continue. If you want to be Ron DeSantis and say schools cannot uh, require masks in their school, um, say so. Uh, otherwise, uh, you've got the chance to weigh in. I want everybody's fingerprints on this. I think Connecticut's doing the right thing. But after two years of continuous mandates, there's a lot of frustration. The Democrats don't want bipartisan support. They just want to look like they're having the conversation, but they're not. Another group was also at the state capitol urging lawmakers to take action on crime. Communities across the state have seen an increase in car thefts, often involving juveniles. There have also been assaults, a kidnapping, and in some cases, the suspects have guns. This woman wears a sash in memory of her friend Henrik, who was killed by a 17-year-old who drove a stolen car onto a sidewalk in New Britain and killed him while he was jogging. I was 17 years old and arrested 13 times in three and a half years. It's not acceptable. So today I came here to the, um, asking for a changes, for a action. Something has to be done. I think there needs to be some changes to the policy. However, not as much as what's being proposed. But many Republicans have been pushing for more deterrence when it comes to juveniles who are involved in crimes. As for the governor and Democrats, they say they plan to do something, but not until the regular session next year. As for the governor's emergency powers, the House has voted and passed it. It now goes to the Senate tomorrow. We are live at the state capitol. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right.